When you're growing your food forest and you're starting your homestead, patience is the name of the game. So I'm here in my front yard food forest. You can see some of the trees behind me. I've given you a tour of this before. I've got some apple trees, some peach trees. I've got a plum tree up here. There's some elderberry and there's some arbor vitae right by the road that goes up to our house where we park our car when we come in. But uh, the thing I want to show you is a couple of different things that I'm doing up here. Over there in the distance, you see that I'm kind of letting everything grow up. There's all sorts of weeds on the ground. But over here in the foreground, I've mowed all of this down. A couple years ago I don't know exactly when it was because I wasn't doing my channel then I wasn't documenting things it's a mistake I wish I would have started documenting things as soon as we got here almost five years ago uh, but a couple years ago the electric company tree trimmers brought all sorts of wood chips here and I put a bunch of it here in the front yard they put a bunch of them over in the backyard food for us and they put a bunch of them over in the corner of the field and I've shown you that before the reason I say patience is the name of the game is because whenever they put them here they had brought them fresh from the trees they were not composted at all but they have been now and let me show you just a bit closer over here i know you can't see very well from that distance so i'm going to dig a bit of this up i'll also show you the ground underneath here in one second but all of these were wood chips whenever they put them here. Uh, it's had some, uh, some weeds grow in it, and I've mowed it a couple times. I mowed it here recently. Look how dark and rich this is. And uh, Obviously, this isn't completely composted yet, uh, but even these twigs are going to break down eventually. It just takes time. So I was able to plant a lot of these trees that are in the background over here, and uh, they're doing fine. It wouldn't have been a really great thing to plant a lot of garden plants here. First off, because of all the shade, you can still grow some stuff in the shade. It just doesn't go grow quite as well but secondly because these hadn't composted at that time but i'm doing another thing you can see back in the background that helps compost it and helps water it as well we have a septic tank that we dug here before we got here in hindsight i might have used a composting toilet because then you can use your own waste to feed the garden of course i don't know if rua would have been down for that even now i'm not sure if she'd be down for that because it is a lot more work and uh, if you're not very careful and do all the work then it can start to smell our chickens and our rabbits that are right behind our house that are in a carport that were composted posting things in. I had a pig in there for a while, but I didn't do a video on that telling you that I took her out because all she was doing was just eating all the eggs and she really wasn't digging and rooting very much. If she dig, dug and rooted a bit more, that would have been great, but we didn't keep her in there. The reason I mention that is because it doesn't stink at all because we kept enough brown material in there. If you use a composting toilet, it won't stink if you put enough brown material in there, enough wood chips or enough sawdust or whatever you use for your brown material. Uh, it won't stink, but you do have to make sure to take it out out and then put it in an area wherever you want to keep it permanently but we have a septic tank for our black water but here is our gray water that comes from our sink our house is just out of frame in that direction over there pretty much just our kitchen sink uh, uh, drains out here if you use mild detergents on your dishes and in your sink and you don't put anything that's uh, very abrasive and very harsh down it then it's okay and all this water comes down here and keeps it really moist here and it doesn't stink at all but it, uh, it helps water the garden and if it does start stinking, I can just put some more of this mulch on here. So we're working our way over here toward the unkept part of the front yard food forest. And the reason I'm not keeping this uh, part over here is because I've got a lot of Apios Americana growing over here. And they vine everywhere. I didn't want to destroy those. So what I'll do is at the end of the season, I'll, uh, I'll come over here and then I'll you know, clean all this out. All those ground nuts that were there, those Apios Americana, will you know, have survived all that. But I wanted to bring you over here. I got you a little closer here so you can see what the ground looks like under it i'm not sure if i'll be able to get all the way down there with this medium duty use silage fork hay fork whatever you want to call it uh, but i will go down as far as we can so let me uh, let me start digging right here with it so it looks like it only goes down about six inches right here but underneath is just this hard clay do you see it there So what these wood chips are doing is uh, it's bringing up worms, all sorts of material here for things to grow in, and it's enriching that soil underneath it as well as what's on top of it. So if you've got an area, and we've got plenty, uh, if you've got an area that you can be patient with, you can build up the area a whole lot with just free material. And all this stuff we got for free. We just had to be in the right spot at the right time, and we told them that we would accept it. They probably brought about 50 loads over here, and it's been really great for us. Uh, it seems like I've heard somewhere before in uh, forested areas, 
says that it builds one inch of topsoil every hundred years uh, from the leaves and from all that stuff. Uh, but here, doing it this way, we're building all sorts of topsoil much, much faster here uh, because uh, we added this stuff that was just a waste material that might have ended up in the landfill if we hadn't done something to intervene it. Here it's doing a great job uh, building up our soil. Let me take you just one step closer over here so you can see some more of our wild food forests. So this is a peach tree that we uh, started a couple years ago. I'm not sure if it has any peaches on it at all. This is a Granny Smith apple right here that looks like some of the June bugs are getting to. Do you see them there? Do you see how they're destroying these leaves? It's a, kind of a battle every year for them. Here's a willow tree that just popped up. Here's my fig tree that keeps dying back every year. Uh, there's uh, some elderberry up there, another peach tree. Uh, here's another apple tree. Look at all these bugs that are eating it here. Do you see them falling off there like crazy? Man, they go after this tree every year. There's another peach tree over here. It's got some peaches that are growing on it. Do you see that? See them right there? It's got several on here. But anyway, as I was saying, patience is the name of the game. Uh, if you're willing to wait, then you can have a really fertile area uh, and you can still do some stuff in the meantime with it. You just can't uh, you know, do everything with it. Uh, and you've got to keep your eyes peeled for some of these wood chips. Uh, but uh, this is something I've been working on. I've been trying to tidy this up just a little bit because it makes it much nicer for us and uh, you know, to use and for the kids. I didn't have anything growing in the past over here, but over here I've not cleaned it up because um, of the the Apios Americana and I'll wait until the end of the year to clean this up get it all nice and pristine so I can plant some other things in there and some of these guilds but anyway if you like things like this if you're willing to be patient with us you'll get to see some of the things that were going on here and I hope that you will because we're really excited about things that are coming up in the future and how things are growing here it just takes some time and sometimes that's frustrating uh, but if you'll stick around with us then you'll see all sorts of things make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell select all so you never miss a notification like this video that really helps us and share it with your friends if you can do those things as well until the next time thanks